Welcome to another Fish Shells video. We got the Hobie PA14 360 out of Manitowoc Marina out in Port Washington. This is a secret, secret harbor that nobody else knows about. It's a beautiful morning. It's super cold though. It's about 22 degrees with the wind chill right now. So I am dressed up in every layer that I have at home, hoping to stay warm, but hoping to catch some fish. We're gonna be trolling spoons, maybe some crankbaits. I'll be trying some triple threat lures and it's still pretty early so I might throw on a couple glow patterns as you can see the sun's not over the horizon yet you check out one of the first lures I'm going to be trolling is a brass back pink panther from triple threat lures just a sweet looking lure there all sorts of colors nice big eye and then I have a little glow pattern black skeleton on this side there's a nice sweet look should hopefully pop in this darker water and there's some glow on the back let's try these down about five ten feet See if we can find some fish. Pedal drive in, skag down, transducer, and rudder. We're ready. Right off the bat, I can see bait within the first top three, four feet of the water. They're all on the surface, so that's where I'm gonna start with my lures this morning, just kind of high up. Today I'm gonna be using little snap weights, and this is only about a half ounce total, so pretty light. Keeping it pretty high up in the water column, maybe 20 feet back or so. And that should do it. I'll be putting on a planer board as well on this side with the spoon, but in the meantime, get in the holder here and keep this thing moving. All right, this one's gonna be closer to a one ounce weight. Just a little deeper on this side. This one's braid, the other one is mono, so I'm gonna put a little loop in this line to keep that snap from flying off. And we're ready. Oh, we got one here. We got one. And he's off. Just like that. Oh, potsing with getting this rod in, getting the planer board in, and that happens. All right, let's keep going. That looked like a good one, too. Marking some bait balls right up to the top, about five, six, seven feet. Definitely some bait in here. Let's go. Oh, there's a hit and off just like that. <laughs> Temperatures cooling down is around 50 degrees all around the harbor and even out about a quarter mile or so. But now it's dropping to about 45, 46 degrees. So I'm going to circle back in a little bit. Had a couple drive-bys, one on for a few seconds. Nothing out here this far. So make a slow turn, see if we can pick something up added a crankbait down the middle as well as the two triple threat spoons on planer boards to my left and right. Oh, come on. Had him for a second and then you can see the splash behind just got off. What am I, zero for four here. Maybe a little loose on the drag too. Well, let's keep going. They're definitely here. Oh, do I have a fish? Wow. I thought I had. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I had no idea. I wasn't pulling drag. And all of a sudden, there he is. I thought I maybe hooked another line. That is hilarious. Here we go. First fish on crankbait, of all things. Missed four fish on the spoon. And there he goes. On the UV colored crankbait from Little Joe Lures. Wow, <laughs> he was just not doing anything. And there we go. And there he is, nice little brown. 
and that's that lure. Nice crankbait. It's probably diving about eight to ten feet with the amount of line that I had behind me. There's a nice little brown. Nice first fish. Not the biggest, but uh, only one way to go from here, which is bigger. So let's do it. And there he is, safely back in the water. One for five. Let's cast this thing back out and see what the next fish is going to bite on. One of the triple threat lure spoons or another crankbait. Let's see if the next one will pull some drag. And this is what that fish spit up. About the size of the spoons I'm using. Oh, here we go. There's a fish. Oh, did he get off? Don't say. Dang it. Just letting line out for the spoon and da, got off. What are we at now? One for six. Jeez Louise. Here we go. Is this a fish? We got one. Let's hope so. Let's hope it's not a snag. Yes, we got one. We got one. There we go. He's jumping out of the water. Let's go. This one feels pretty big. Let's get this thing. Come on. What do we got here? He's on. Yes. There we go. Let's get this thing off. I believe this one took the pink panther spoon from triple threat lures. And now we got the other poles in and the planer board off and the snap weight off. Whew, that was a lot of work. And what do we have on the line here? Definitely bigger than that last one pounder that I got. One for six, but let's get this one landed. Whoa, there he is. Nice looking fish. That is a big brown. Get in the net. Wow. And we got him. <laughs> Oh, what a big brown. So cool. Just smashed it on the planer board. Snap weight. Only fishing eight, nine feet of water, but this big boy took it. That made it all worth it right there. Losing five fish on drive-bys and ooh, he's a big one. <laughs> and nope, he took the black skeleton spoon. How sweet. About the same size as that bait that I found on the bottom of the boat after that last brown got off. Let's get this beast of a brown back in once we get this thing unhooked. Just perfect hook set in the corner of the mouth. There we go. And there she is, big mama brown, right in the harbor on Triple Threat Lures Black Skeleton. How sweet is that? Let's get her back in the water. There she goes, happy and swimming freely. <laughs>